I cannot believe that I am actually <laughs> making this video. It has been July since I placed my Lush Labs order and I just got it today. I thought for sure that it was lost in the mail. I was never going to see it. I had already emailed Lush letting them know. They told me to wait um, like a full month and then email them back if I didn't receive it because they said, you know, my package could be um, held up in customs and whatnot. But, you know, I was just imagining the worst because it's been that long since, you know, I placed my order. But I got my package today. Thank goodness. I was so concerned. And here it really was opened by customs. I could tell right away because of how the box was taped and like the invoice was kind of like taped on top of the box. And I was just like, oh my goodness, at least it came so I can finally do my haul. So I am going to show you everything that was released during the last Lush Labs. Um, the only two products that I don't have to show is the Karma Shower Balm because it wasn't ready yet. Um, and then also the Little Pot of Energy uh, Naked Body Lotion, which I didn't buy because I was worried it was gonna melt in the mail and I'm so glad I did not purchase it because you know, my package has been like circulating in the mail for like almost a month now. So there probably would have been nothing left of it uh, by the time it had got to me today. So I am gonna show you guys everything else that was part of my order. So this whole Lush, the last Lush Labs um, products that were released, um, it was kind of like part of a moods collection, basically. It was all about um, just moods and scents in general. So lots of like, nice smelling product. So I'm going to start first with the reusable um, bubble bar bubble spinner. This one was called the spinning plates reusable bubble bar and I don't know exactly why it was called spinning plates. These don't look like plates to me but um, regardless it does just look like like any of their other kind of like bubble spinners. Um, just on like the little wooden rod wheel. And it had a scent description of lemongrass, orange flower, and fire tree oil. To me, it just has like a light, a mild light orange smell to it. It's definitely citrus in my opinion, but I don't think the scent is very, very strong, just smelling it like it is now. Uh, but we'll see once, you know, I actually use it if I feel like this scent um, comes out a little bit more. So again, a bubble spinner, but um, I have been happy with the past couple of ones I have done. So we'll see about that one. Next, I'll show you guys the bath bombs. The first one was called Under the Umbrella Tree, which looks like this. And it is shaped like a little tree. It's a bit on the crumbly side. I'm kind of flat as well. This one has the Breath of God scent, which is also the Inhale Exhale. If you've used the Inhale Exhale bath bomb before, I know it used to come out in the kitchen. That's what this bath bomb smells like. There's a lot of like smoky, earthy scents in this one. There's cedarwood, vetiver black pepper, neroli, sandalwood, just a lot of those like earthy, but also like it's got like a sultry kind of smoky scent to it as well. Um, not really the kind of scent I <laughs> would think of when looking like at a tree bath bomb, but I do appreciate the fact that it is, you know, a something different, not like a citrus scent basically. Um, but like I said, it is a bit on the crumbly side but it is cute nonetheless so I did actually order two of those and as you can see my other ones trunk broke off and that's exactly why I ordered two because I was afraid of this happening so that's why I bought two and thankfully one of them came unbroken they were packaged right up next to each other with like nothing in between the two so um, I'm honestly a little surprised that they both didn't break, but thankful that only one did. Uh, the next bath bomb was called Little Bottle of Calm, and it already looks like um, the color on this is fading, 
like it looks like maybe it had been just a tiny bit more blue. Um, it has a little paper tag that says calm and it's it's shaped literally like the um, naked beard oil. Like they probably use the same mold uh, to create this bath bomb. It's incredibly tiny, very, very tiny. Um, I mean, it is called the little bottle of calm. So that makes sense in that aspect. Again, this one seems super powdery. Um, there's lavender in there, Tonka. It smells like sleepy to me. It just definitely has that calming lavender sweet smell. So definitely smells good, but just very tiny. And um, just these, like the, there's only two bath bombs and they both seem just very powdery in my opinion, but they smell great. So we'll see um, how they are once I do demos of them. Next, they came out with shower bombs and these are new products, which I thought was just super awesome because it was finally like a product that people could use in the shower if you know they don't have access to a tub to use bath bombs, then having like a shower bomb in the shower because basically your only real products you could use would be like shower steamers. And these were kind of like a new concept of using a bath bomb in the shower. And basically, you're supposed to hold them in your hand and once they get wet, they kind of fizz, I guess, and or I should say foam. Um, and then you would rub that foaminess all over your body and it would be like taking an upright shower with your bath bomb. So I thought it was a really neat concept and I'm really excited to try these. So there were four of them, but the caramel one, they didn't have it ready in time, I guess, when they um, had all the other ones available for order. And so I don't have that one. I'm gonna have to purchase that next time I place an order. Uh, but I will show you the ones that I did get. This first one is sleepy and it's shaped like a cloud. It is really cute. And then on the bottom, it actually is embossed sleepy. So super adorable. This one does have that, um, the sleepy scent of the twilight smell, smells wonderful. And I think that's so cute. Like it reminds me of the Care Bears. I don't know, I just get like Care Bears vibes <laughs> when I look at it. So got that one. Next one is the Not Sleepy, which looks like this. It's just kind of yellow with ridges all around it. And the reason that this one's called Not Sleepy is because the scent is like the complete opposite of Sleepy, where Sleepy is that like relaxing kind of nighttime smell. Not Sleepy is that bright citrus that's gonna wake you up. It's got the Sicilian lemon, the lime, the orange. So all of those just bright zingy citrus scents that, um, you know, will obviously wake you up instead of putting you to sleep. So got that one. The next one is called Kogana Scotsy. And it looks like a top, like a spinning top, like, like the toy that you would have as like a kid that you would just, you know, twirl and it would just go around. That's what it reminds me of anyway. It's got like the ridges on the bottom. And this one also wasn't ready when we placed our Lush Labs order, the original, um, you know, when everything first came out. Um, Karma would, was saying that, you know, we couldn't add it to the basket basically. And these we were able to be put through, but then Lush sent an email saying that they were gonna come in a separate package because they weren't ready yet. So they probably lost out on some money having to ship all of these shower bombs in separate packages um, to the customers because I guess, you know, they weren't, they weren't ready when all the other um, pieces of the order was ready to ship out. So this came separate and I actually got this before I ever obviously received my actual package. So, you know, I was just, I went for my mailbox and it was just this tiny box and I was like, that cannot be my order, you know what I mean? And it was just this shower bomb. So just thankful that everything came. Um, but it is interesting in the fact that this one doesn't feel 
quite the same as the other two. The other two feel super soft. Like I feel like if I, if I touch them a little too hard, they're gonna like break kind of thing. And this one feels a lot more firm, not like super firm, like you would think of like a really tight packed bath bomb or anything, but just a little bit more firmness to it than the other two. So it makes me wonder if like when they made these, they finally kind of like got to the formula exactly how it was supposed to be. Um, or maybe the other two are just naturally going to be a little bit more on the softer side, but I thought that was a little interesting. I didn't even talk about the scent on this one. Oh my goodness. This one has a scent description of lavender, ylang ylang, violet leaf, and vanilla. And I will tell you what, when I had the, when I got this package, I had the box open and it was just kind of sitting on my kitchen table. Just random fact, I really don't use my kitchen table. Um, so, but it basically, like smelled up the entire kitchen for you know a very long time because I was waiting on the rest of my package really um so it made for like a great like room smell like I didn't have to like light or burn anything just you know that in its package was smelling up the entire kitchen it smells fantastic I really like the scent of that one and okay so one of the most you know anticipation wise as far as new Lush products go were the atmospheres and they came in just like the little black um box that you know you can get these to uh put your bath oils in as well it just kind of looks like an egg carton basically and these are just single use shower gels in these little pod pouches so when you open it up you open the box, looks like this. They have this like, I don't know exactly what this is. I guess so they don't go like flying around in the container. Um, but that was in there. And then these here are the single use pouches. And I will get them out so you can see a little better. We'll go over the scents. And you can see they look like pods. They look, they look like, um, you know, laundry detergent pods basically. They're encased in this layer of some sort of seaweed concoction. So when you pinch these, it's gonna kind of pop and then your product will come out. And they say this is single use, but personally, I think this seems like a lot of product to use um, in a single use. When I use like my regular Lush shower gels, I don't feel like I use this much. Um, definitely a little bit less than that because I tend to use in a poof, like a loofah, and you really don't need much to get um, a whole lot of lather. So these are pretty impossible, I think, to smell through this casing. Uh, but this green one is called Money, and it shares the same scent as the Over and Over bath bomb. And that's a lime, fennel, and um, cypress oil scent. So that is that one. And when I do my um, atmospheres video, I do plan on, like each time I use one, I'm gonna film, and then I'm just going to put them all together in one video. So the next one is the blue one, and it is called Let Go. It looks like this. And this one, the scent description is lavender. So basically, it's just a lavender smell. I really like, I can't smell it through the casing, but I don't believe it's gonna be anything like, you know, like a sleepy lavender or anything like that. Like it's supposed to be just a true, just straightforward lavender scent. The next one is orange and it's called Love. Not sure why this one is orange. I think it should be red. <laughs> uh, but this one looks like it's um, pretty shimmery in there. It's very pretty. It shares the same scent as the Love scent, which is Rose Absolute Ylang Ylang and Orange Flower. And I cannot wait to use this one. I think I'm most excited about this one as far as um, trying these out. I'll probably do that first. And then we have a yellow one, which looks like this. It's called Joy. And it has a couple different, I keep trying, like I'm trying to smell them through um, this like seaweed barrier, but I cannot smell it. The scent description on this one is bergamot, black pepper, grapefruit, clove bud oil, and ginger. 
So those are the four atmospheres. And currently, as far as buying them, you can only buy them as like a selection box. So basically you get the box and one of each shower gel. Um, you don't have a choice as to which ones you get or anything like that. So if you wanted like a box full of just the loved ones, it's not an option currently, but that's part of what Lush Labs is. They kind of just are trying to figure out what they should release like in the main lines and stuff like that. So obviously if these would do well, then that would probably change as far as, you know, which ones you can buy and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if these are, are gonna make it or not. You, know, you can still purchase them on the Lush UK site. I was seen in the Facebook group, Make Lush Not War, so many people who were showing their atmosphere packages that they had ordered, their pods busted in the mail. So many of them. I was seeing post after post after post of just busted atmospheres. And I thought for sure, for sure, for as long as my package has been in the postal system, my my atmospheres were just gonna be like completely gone basically. Like they'd just be dripping out of the carton. I about crapped my pants when I opened this box and not a one of mine is busted. Like. I don't know if customs was like just lightly like, oh my gosh, you know what I mean? Like with my stuff or what, but they were very gentle and kind. Whoever and all what had their paws on my Lush package throughout the postal system because that surprises the heck out of me. Uh, the next thing that I got were the Brave mouthwash tabs. Now, I have tried Lush Toothy tabs before, but I have never actually tried any of their mouthwash tabs. These were new um, from the Lush Labs. They had mouthwash tabs out, like that's nothing new. Um, but this was a new scent that they had or flavor, or, you know, whatever you wanna say. I mean, you're not gonna drink your mouthwash, but you know what I mean. Um, it says, wash the fear out of your mouth with clove bud, Brazilian orange, and menthol crystals. So as I stated, I've never used a mouthwash tab before. I'm gonna try one right now on camera. So hopefully this isn't called Brave because uh, you have to be brave to try it. Now it says how to use after brushing. Hold on, there's like a little sticker here. With toothy tabs. Pop one mouthwash tab into your mouth and take a sip of water to start the fizz. Nibble and swish before spitting out, use any time for oral refreshment. So I got a little, I got a little Dixie cup <laughs> of water here. So I have um, a little bit of water. It's got a little giraffe on it. So cute. Okay, so let's get one of these out. They smell, they smell really nice. Like I definitely smell the orange in them and like a bit of that uh, clove bud. So let's get a little bit. Mm. Hmm. I have to edit out the unattractiveness of me spitting that back out my Dixie cup. <laughs> But as far as these mouthwash tabs go, holy crap. Um, it had, oddly enough, it was like using a, a, using a piece of candy to <laughs> mouthwash my mouth, if that makes sense. Like it's definitely like a sweet orange, a sweet orange. It definitely had a candy kind of taste, which is delicious. Like my mouth tastes delicious. Like I just ate or chewed some really nice, just sweet orange candy or bubble gum. I don't know how I feel about my mouth feeling like that after brushing. It seems kind of decadent. Like when I use a mouthwash, I like that stingy, minty, like that <sighs> smell, you know, that, that feeling basically. Um, 
I ain't getting that with, with, with those, but they are pleasant, just maybe a little too sweet for me as far as a mouthwash. Um, but yeah, that was good. I would definitely use them up though. Um, but I think I do just prefer like, you know, more of a minty overall feeling and taste in my mouth as, you know, just personal preference for mouthwash flavors. Then I also, and this wasn't part of the Lush Labs, but it was something that I wanted to purchase. I got the Princess Dusting Powder. I definitely wanted to start picking up some dusting powders. Um, the only other one I have is Candy Fluff. So the Princess Dusting Powder says, every morning just the same until the morning that you came and tried the sweet fragrance powder packed full of absorbent lycopodium, if I pronounce that right. So basically dusting powders absorb excess moisture and just, you know, leave your skin lightly fragranced and just feeling nice and soft. This one is on the shimmery side if you like a uh, shimmer. They also say you can like dust it in like your bed sheets and stuff. I don't know if I personally would do that. I mean, maybe if I was just feeling the need, but I just plan basically on using this on my body. It's described as a light, fresh scent. I will take, it smells fantastic. I love the smell of this. Um, I will just take some out and put some on like my skin to see if maybe you can see the shimmeriness in it. Mm, it smells fantastic. I do really like the smell. You're probably not gonna see anything. It's just a very light shimmer. It's not like, holy crap, this is a ton of shimmer, shimmer. It's just a nice light shimmer. And the scent description on this is nettle, which I cannot think of nettle or say nettle without thinking of salad fingers. If you guys know who salad fingers is, uh, don't, I'd say look it up right now on YouTube, but don't if you have any kids in the room because <laughs> kids really don't need to be knowing who salad fingers is. There's also a violet leaf in there, pine absolute and novoli oil and yeah, I really do love the smell of the Princess Dusting Powder. So I'm excited to have that. I was excited uh, to get it. Um, I also have my bag of Lush samples. Every time I order from the UK site, you guys know I request some samples. And if you don't know how to request free samples on the Lush UK site, I do have a video dedicated to that if you want to check it out. Um, this time around, I specifically asked for solid shampoo samples. I just really wanted to try some different um, solid shampoos and they sent a wide variety of solid shampoos and these are nice sized chunks. I was very, very happy with them. So I will show you the ones that they sent. The first one I got was Trichomania. It smells like coconut to me. It smells wonderful. And do you see how big these samples are? Like this will definitely last me a while. I have pretty long hair, but I still see this lasting for a while. Solid shampoos, I think, um, definitely do last. So I'm excited to try that. I've never tried any of these, so very excited. The next one is Odango, if that's how I'm, you're supposed to pronounce it. I'm not quite sure what this scent is, but it smells good. And again, just a big, big old chunk. Very, very nice size. Um, this one is Harry McClary. I'll have to read up on these as to, you know, what they're good for as far as hair types and stuff. Let's see if there's one in particular that I think will do really well with my hair. This is called Waves. I'm really excited about this. I love the color of it. And it smells good too. It's kind of got like an oceany scent to it, which is awesome. And then they also threw in a happy, happy, joy, joy. Um, they call this conditioning hair perfume. It's like a perfumed hair conditioner. And I, I love this stuff. I think it smells so good. It smells like flowers. It's just a very strong floral scent. And they call it hair perfume because is that scent, the scent of it really, really lasts in your hair. So 
I don't have a full size of this because it seems like I have like a lot of samples and I don't use it um, very often. Um, so I still have probably a couple of these like sample sizes. Um, but once I run out of them, I probably will have to buy a full size. So that is everything for my Lush Labs haul. As I stated about the atmospheres, I plan on, as I use each one, I will record it and then put them all in one video. And also the next Lush Labs is just in a couple of days because <laughs> it took so long to get my package. It's like, we're pretty much ready for the next release because the Lush Labs releases come out on the 29th of the month. And I have not heard anything. Typically I do like a Lush Labs leaks video or something along those lines once I hear what's coming, but have not heard a peep. So I have no idea what's coming. I mean, hopefully that, you know, we're still getting a release. Like, I don't know what's going on. If anyone has heard anything about what we could possibly get, be getting, you'll have to let me know. And on the Lush UK site, they did end up um, releasing their new highlighter sticks. And I did think about purchasing one of those. You guys have to let me know if you think I should buy one and do kind of like a demo review like I did with the foundation slapsticks. Um, I was thinking of doing a video like that with um, one of the new highlighters. So if you think you'd like to see something like that, just let me know in the comments. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize that it took so long to do my haul and now it's gonna be a little while until I have like my demos up of these products, but they will be coming. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.